Jin Sen Su Ki, and today I am here to tell you about the importance of democracy. Democracy might have seemed like a form of government to you, but really it is much more. It is freedom itself. You can think, say, and believe what you want. Once there is democracy, you can create a great country. And then freedom will reign. I was born into a family that created freedom. I was the daughter of a Burmese general. He was the general that freed Burma from British rule. I did not know him for very long for he was assassinated when I was two years old. Another tragedy set in when I was young. My brother drowned when he was eight years old. Two deaths in my early life were very challenging, but one of the things that helped me through it was Theravada Buddhism. In Theravada Buddhism, you are taught to meditate and purify yourself. Meditation helped me stay calm through stress. My mother was an ambassador to India, and we moved there for her work. While I was there, I graduated high school and went to college. I got my degree in politics, econ economics, and philosophy. It was through these experiences that I found new knowledge to see what my own country was doing. It was oppressing its own people. I saw that democracy was now more important than ever. We, with democracy, we would improve our country. We would be able to make our own decisions. We could improve our economy, education, and living conditions. We could be free. I spoke to millions and called for a democracy to free the country. We demonstrated peacefully, but were met with the guns of the government, slaughtered, innocent people slaughtered. But we would not stop protesting until democracy stood tall. I looked for the teachings of Gandhi. I knew that we could not revolt to violence. Nonviolence would solve our problems. And if we did this, democracy would stand tall. We would not fight with guns, but with our minds. I knew I had to meet the military on a political stage. So then I created the National League of Democracy to take our fight to the government. And doing this, democracy would stand tall. At the election, we would win by 80% of the votes to take the government. The military would not allow it and remained in power. We would keep fighting until democracy would stand tall. For my actions, I was placed on house arrest. For 21, for out of 21 years, 15 of them, I was placed on house arrest. The day I was freed, I would not stop fighting until democracy stood tall. If you look around the world, seeing the countries that prosper the most are the ones who have chosen the path of democracy. These that have chosen democracy have survived hundreds of years. The government would not be able to assassinate innocent people. The economy would become stable. Jobs would be created, living conditions would improve. Other issues would do the same and create a better country. Democracy would only have a positive effect. This is something that we will not take lightly. We will keep fighting until democracy stands tall. Someone is not truly free under a military rule. One is only free under a democracy. With democracy, we can stop the suffering. We can create a new Burma. We have started the movement of democracy, and once it is started, it cannot stop. And we will not stop fighting until democracy.